All right, so you know exactly where I live, where I work, uh, how much I make, how much I've already paid, um, how much I owe, and then um, where to send the check. Um, can you just tell me? No, I, I have to use software at my own expense to figure out the information that you already know. Okay. Well, thank you then. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's Ron from Ron's Computer Videos. How's it going this evening? Um, actually, um, it's tax time in the United States if you... Um, are someone who pays. Um, I may have a little bit of a situation going on here, so uh, I might have to do this another time. I don't know. Maybe file for an extension. Um, in any case, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. But why I wanted to get together this evening is for something that I've had for a little while, and I've really wanted to share it with you, uh, but it just hasn't felt like the right time. It hasn't felt like an April date looming on the horizon like some sort of dark cloud. But now that that dark cloud is here, I figured this would be the perfect time to share it with you. And that's this. One of the rarest Performa models that Apple ever made. The Performa 637 CD Money Magazine Edition. And I hear you, you're asking, Ron, why does anybody care about a software bundle that came with a Performa machine? And you know what, I hear you. And if it wasn't for the fact that these were only offered for a very brief amount of time at kind of some select retailers, uh, I would agree with you. But I like weird old stuff, and don't you? And isn't this what this whole hobby is about? Is, is archiving and saving and uh, sort of being frustrated and not being able to find things and then finding it and being really excited and then putting a video on the back burner for nearly a year while you wait for yourself to get excited about the idea again. That's how the hobby works for me. So actually the thing that's kind of neat about it is the software bundle because um, until I got this right here, this was previously unarchived or at least not fully archived um there are some there are some places to secure some of the software they're not the places that i frequent so i wanted to do this 100 percent above board uh get the actual uh software pack that apple shipped with this machine archive everything and make it available to everybody over there on the macintosh garden so at some point after i get this video posted you'll see links and I'll make sure to put it in the video description so that way that anybody can just go out and download it. Not exactly related to Performa things, but a Money Magazine thing. Um, I also was able to find the floppy version of Wealth Builder. This is a little bit of an older version. Um, I'll make sure that this ends up on Macintosh Garden as well. So the 637 CD, where could you get one? So as you can see, it was on the market not very long. Um, there was a sister machine that was uh, maybe a little bit more expensive depending on where you bought it, but uh, Apple only made two of these Performa machines that included the software bundle. Now I get it, I get it, I get it. That um, Apple bundled different software depending on the retailer so that way that they didn't have to do price matching between Sears and between uh, Montgomery Ward or between um, you know, nobody beats the whiz or whatever, but this was a little bit different. And it's namely because none of these other machines ended up with a custom badge on the front. It's literally these two. So I don't know if that trips your trigger in terms of like rare old Macintosh stuff, but that's the focus of this video. So why don't you come along with me? All right, enough flapping gums. Let's restore the machine from the original CD and then let's go ahead and take a look at the software.
Welcome to the Macintax Interactive Demo. The above menu items will help you to find out about Macintax, America's number one best-selling tax preparation software for the Macintosh. Click on any of the above menu buttons to explore how Macintax can go to work for you this coming tax season. That's it. That's all the software. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not really all that exciting, but it's got a financial kind of theme to it. And it's April and it's kind of tax month and all of that. I think the thing that I liked was the, um, the screensaver, um, which I don't know if that's archived anywhere else outside of this. Um, I mean, there are big collections where it claims to have every After Dark module, but uh, who knows for sure. Anyway. Hello? Well, yeah, I'd love to come over. What's an audit? <laughs> 